Hey everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this stunning piece of typography. Now it's really easy and simple to create and it takes um, less than probably about 10 minutes. So let's go to File and New and we need to create a new page which is going to be 1000 pixels by 800 pixels. So that's width 1000 and height 800 and then we're going to go and click OK. Now from here what we need to do is we need to change this blank white layer to black so we can go make sure you've got the black as your foreground colour and then we're just going to hit the paint bucket tool which is on the left hand side and then we're just going to change that to uh, black you might have to unlock that layer um, you can double click that on the right hand side that layer and it'll unlock it so once you have changed it to black which we want we're going to add the text now so we go to the text tool which is on the left hand side and we'll just uh, click and drag all the way over so it creates this and then we're going to zoom out you can hold alt and then use a the scroll on your mouse to zoom out and we're just going to change um, the size of this so of this box so we're just going to drag out on the of the sides so making it bigger which uh, we need for later I want to make it quite big expand uh, the box out pretty far because when we're going to do it we're going to change uh, to the side so we're going to do that later so let's just do that now once you've got something like this uh, we're going to go and start writing so first of all we need um, a font now you can choose any sort of font that you want uh, I'm just going to go for Times New Roman make it quick but you can find some really funky fonts out there uh, from free websites uh, you're going to have it regular and the size you want is 16 and it doesn't matter about the rest the sharp but the color um, you can put really any color that you wish but I'm just going to go for this color which is gray and it's going to be set to 474545 that's the code for this color which is like a dark gray then click OK now once you've done that we're just going to go and write our text now you ain't going to probably see the text at the moment because it's off of this um, layer so it's over here but we're going to keep everything in um, caps lock so everything in capital so hit the caps lock on your keyboard and then start writing now mine's just going to be Photoshop Pro help for the background but you can have anything that you wish so just copy and paste and it'll finally um, come on here so this type in shop pro help and then we're just gonna copy that and then we're just gonna keep pasting so remember to hit the space bar every time you've paste because otherwise you're not gonna end up with any spaces and it's gonna look a bit weird so Let's just quickly do that. It can take a little bit of time. It can take a while, but I'm just going to stop there and just copy again this big chunk here and then start over again. So it'll take hardly any time. So if you want to know a quick way of copy and pasting, Control and C and Control and V, but that's pretty basic. But if you don't know, that's a way to do it. And then from here, we're just going to go up to this corner edge here which is on the right hand side or you can do the left hand side doesn't matter and you'll get this little icon which uh, which has two arrows on it and we're just going to change it so it's on its edge like that so it kind of looks like a diamond but a pretty weird diamond at that and then we're just going to see we've got two blank dark boxes here which we don't want so we're just going to drag the box and make it bigger and do this on the other side and then from here we're just going to zoom out oh and zoom out again and once we've got that we're going to hit control and V again so we can paste so it fills the whole screen up like that now once you have done that we're going to hit the tick icon at the top so once you've got something like looking like this 
pretty nice then we can start making our graphics that we want to put onto this thing so we're just going to go to over on the left hand side and you've got the custom shape tool now you can use this and we're going to go all the way up to the top and you've got loads and loads of different things here now you can even add your own or just play around with these ones that you've got and you can also load other ones or load other ones that you got from free sites now I'm just going to be very quick and use the same one I used um, as I shown you at the start of the tutorial so close that down and we're going to make a new blank layer on the right hand side at the bottom new blank layer icon and then we're just gonna make that as big as we want it somewhere around there doesn't matter about the color because we're not actually using the actual graphics we're just going to use the outline so we're going to hide that and then we're going to hit control so hold control on your keyboard and we're just going to hit the the thumbnail of that box that we've just created so then you've got this uh, lovely outline which is the marching ants and we're going to go and click on to the text layer and we're going to right click on that and we're going to hit rasterize layer type so it rasterizes that and then from here all we're going to do is we're going to go up to edit we're going to go to cut and then we're going to go to paste so control and V to paste and we're going to go to the move tool on the le left hand side sorry which is the top one here and we're just going to put that back so it looks neat and tidy so this can take a little while you might have to zoom in so alt and scroll in and you can use your arrow keys to just um, move it around so let's just get that so there that looks better and then all we've got to do is double click that layer and we're going to bring up the layer styles so uh, the one the new layer that we've just created which is the leaf or any design that you've made and we're going to go and hit color overlay now as you see it's already red and you've got this lovely red leaf but you don't have to actually do color overlay you can actually do gradient overlay which is two colors blended in which actually looks pretty nice so I'm not going to do color overlay for this one I'm going to do gradient overlay and once you click the gradient overlay you can play around with the settings and you can obviously change the color by hitting the box there and bringing up this box gradient editor and then just changing the colors wherever you want to so that should be okay this green one and click OK and click OK again now if you want um, text into your uh, picture now it's pretty easy all you have to do is go over to the text icon which is on the left hand side as I said and we're gonna go and click off of the layer so around here and we're gonna put that up to around 400 size and then you can have whatever you want type whatever you want I'm just gonna have P and H around there and we're just gonna move uh, that sorry hang on a minute let's do that again P H and just move that onto here and then basically it's the same thing we're gonna hide that layer we're going to hold control and get the outline uh, and click on the thumbnail sorry and then once you've got that outline click on to the rasterized layer which is the backing where it says Photoshop or whatever you've put and then we're going to go to edit we're going to go to cut and then control and V to paste and then just move that around so it goes into place and then use the arrow keys to so it looks fine like that and then just double click that new layer that we just created and put a color overlay or any other sort of things that you want to put and that's pretty much it basically so we're going to change that to blue click OK on that and that's what you've got now you can do one other thing that's pretty cool so we're going to go to the top top layer and we're going to make a new blank layer and we can fill that with any color that we wish so let's go to this one here the paint bucket tool and like that and we're just going to change the blending mode to overlay and we're going to bring the fill down by a hundred so 
that's the fill layers on zero and then we're just going to double click that and then we're going to go to inner glow now once you've got that we're going to bring the opacity up we're going to bring the size up and we're just going to change that color to black or any other color that you wish um, to suit your style so I'm just going to go to black click OK and just going to bring that in and let's just play around with the settings so around there or anywhere so you can really just change the colors and just change that to normal so basically all you've done here is you can change the blend mode to normal and we can bring the opacity down so let's just bring the opacity down to around 50 or 60 there so the opacity is going to be set to 60 and the size is going to be 131 so 131 and then you can really play with the color or anything that you really like to suit your picture as I said and that's about it so you've got this stunning piece of typography with a lovely uh, inner glow so it contrasts the actual picture and you can really expand on this and play around with it so I hope you had uh, fun creating this uh, piece of typography and expand on it and please visit my website comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time guys bye for now